Hello everybody, my name is Carl and welcome to another Ubuntu Server 14.04 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Team Fortress 2 server on Ubuntu Server. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your favorite ter terminal program and log in. And always start with a sudo apt-git update. Once the update's finished, we'll need to install some software. For our 64-bit users, we'll need to run two commands here. One's 64-bit uh, dependencies for Steam CMD, and the other is going to be 64-bit dependencies for Team Fortress 2. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. So sudo apt git install lib33, sorry, 32 gcc1. Uh, the next one's going to be sudo apt-git install lib32 z1 space lib32 and c u r s e s 5 and space lib32 bz2-1.0 And then the last piece of software all users need, which is going to be sudo apt dash git install screen. Fantastic. Once all the software is installed, let's go ahead and start setting up Steam CMD. So the first thing we need to do is make a directory. So sudo mkdir steam cmd. We need to switch directory. So cd steam cmd. Now we need to download it. So sudo wgit http colon forward slash forward slash media dot steam power dot com forward slash installer forward slash steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz now we need to extract those contents so sudo tar Dash X V Z F Steam CMD underscore Linux dot TAR dot GZ. We can go ahead and run a quick ls command and to verify the contents were extracted. Next we need to go ahead and launch Steam CMD, so sudo period forward slash steam cmd dot sh. Once it's finished launching, we can go ahead and log in as anonymous. Once logged in, we can go ahead and set the force directory. So F-O-R-C-E underscore install underscore D-I-R. I'm just going to go ahead and put period period forward slash TF2 just for the sake of ease. And then the app update is going to be app underscore update. Two three two two five zero, and then validate, and then enter. Uh, Team Fortress Two is quite a large download, so it might take it a few minutes to download. Uh, just be patient with it. Now that Team Fortress 2 is done downloading, we can go ahead and quit Steam CMD by typing quit and then enter. We'll need to switch our directories again, so cd period period forward slash uh, tf2. Quickly do a quick ls to verify the contents of the directory. Looks like everything is there and ready to go. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and create a startup script by typing in sudo vim startup.sh. Make sure to press insert to, go in, to enter insert mode. Now Steam, uh, to launch Team Fortress 2, we'll need to do a period forward slash src ds underscore run dash game space tf space plus 
SV underscore pure space one plus map space CTF underscore two FORT space plus max players space 24. We go ahead and press escape colon w, WQ enter. We'll need to switch the permissions on this startup script so we can execute it. So sudo chmod plus x startup.sh. Now, before running the server, we need to go ahead and set up a screen. So sudo screen negative capital S tf2 and then sudo period forward slash startup dot sh. The server takes about 10 seconds before it's initialized, so just be patient. Once you see VAC secure mode is active, or activated, uh, the server is up and online. Uh, this was a simple configuration uh, of, a, of a startup script for a simple capture the flag type game mode. Um, there will be a link in the description for other um, configuration types to play other type of game modes and whatnot. Uh, just check out the link in the description. I'll also leave a link to my Google Drive account where you can actually see the, um, the documentation which I followed to create this tutorial. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, show me leave me a like. If you want to see more tutorial, tutorial videos in the future, uh, subscribe. Uh, if you have a suggestion for a tutorial, leave it in the comment section. I'll do what I, see what I can to, uh, uh, to uh, take the suggestion and make it into a video. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.